guys, this is me, Gabriel, again, and I'm going to show you some tricks I found on the Seven Times Tables. So here we go. Alright, let's write seven, because we're doing the Seven Times Tables. Let's write a zero, because we want to do this whole column. So we're going to start with this column. What do you do? One. And we'll write two. Let's write two one more time. We can go on to three now. Four. We'll do the exact same thing we did with the two, and we'll double it. We can go on to five. Six. And seven. Now we need to do this. So, we're going to do 7 minus 3. And that's going to equal 4. And since we can minus it by 3 again, we shall do that. Alright, since we can't minus it by 3 again, unless you want to go into negatives. So... The next number that comes after 7 is 8. We can minus that by 3. That'll equal 5. We can minus that by 3 one more time. And that'll equal 2. And the exact same thing with 1. You cannot minus it by 3 unless you want to go into the negatives. So, the number that comes after 8 is 9. We can minus that by 3. It's 6. We'll minus that by 3. It's 3. And we can minus that by 3 one more time. And that'll equal 0. And those are the tricks I found in the sometimes tables. And I'll see you next time.